So dudes, welcome back to the Gregor Gaming Experience. So I wanted to do a video talking about some of the OSA plays from uh, yesterday in NAL. And I realized a trend when I went through all the VODs, uh, every, every single round that I could find, where there was some kind of OSA play on the field. Um, <laughs> it usually didn't go very well. Usually something like this happens. So... That's awkward, right? Checking to see if my mic's on. So, you know, I, I don't think there was a single round where, where there was actually like an OSA dub, which is which is really strange. Um, I, I think that's just an anomaly. I, I think that there's definitely going to be some OSA strats later on in the future uh, that will that will work. But until then, I, I really I, I was kind of disappointed because I didn't feel like I had really any material um, to work with there. So instead, I uh, I tuned into some of the games today, and I found I found a continuation of a trend that I think you guys might find cool. Uh, and my mouse cursor is here because I was recording this straight from the straight from the vod as it was as it was playing live, and I didn't realize that it was there. So uh, that's not your mouse cursor; it's mine. So this is an operator that's seen a lot more play than I think people ever could have anticipated, even with the frag grenades. Knock. And why is that? Well, Nook, as it turns out, is is pretty good on maps where you're able to gamble with the Nook pick, uh, thanks to attacker repick. So, to this extent, it looks like Nook is one of these operators that's benefited from attacker repick because now it's no longer a gamble, or it's it's not as much of a gamble as it was, to include her in the starting lineup before you looked at the site. Maps like Chalet, and especially maps like Bank, where Nuck has been getting banned, actually, in NAL pretty recently, are pretty good for her. And I theorize the reason behind this is because maps that are very staircase-dependent are very strong for this character. Because usually, staircases have default cameras. Like here, here, and then over here in Solarium for Chalet, right? In particular. If you can get an elevation change, if you can go from one floor to another without tripping the cam, that's pretty useful. That's pretty, that's pretty, that's a, that's a nice thing to have because it allows you more flexibility in terms of your ability to move around the map and it's more difficult for the attackers, or I'm sorry, it's more difficult for the defenders to keep track of you, especially if they can't hear you, right? Because of the, because of the silent step thing. And we're going to see this work pretty well. So, keep the dough so I'm gonna get to the part of the round where the Nuck actually uh, actually starts making some plays. So vertical was was on the Nuck for the most part. Now they ended up swapping off of Nuck several times. There were, I, I think there there were two to three different rounds where he was hovering over the Nuck and then they looked at the site and then they realized that it wasn't part of the strategy and then they switched to Twitch instead. But this time, uh, just a really good frag grenade, very common but still really solid frag grenade placement there. From uh, from that window to fireplace, Fox A, Fox A was lightening up this game. Oxygen in general, really really good job this match. But towards the end here, Vertical is going to go down Solarium and cause some trouble. Now it's a pretty late. Im these are kind of late impact kills. I mean, it's four v three, so it's debatable. You know, you can say how much Nook's impact influence around here is kind of up to debate. But I think I think at this point in the round, it was still very much winnable for. Astralis if they manage to get another pick, right? And this play by Vertical manages to just shut it down completely. So J90 is is playing the solar stairs. He's playing he's playing at the bottom of the solar stairs to kind of contest the open breach point here. If he can if he can win a gunfight here and slow down the momentum of oxygen, that's gonna put Astralis in a very good defensive position because there's 50 seconds left on the clock. And the thing is, there's somebody who doesn't really like that. Doesn't really like that possibility, right? And there he is. So the default camera for uh, for Solar here. Right? Right there. And then, I'm going to change it to blue because it's the blue team. He can activate his thing. Traverse a pretty decent amount. I mean, like... He can, he can basically, like, here's one room, right? That's walled off. Here's another room that's walled off. 
This room is walled off too. He can literally go from one room to the other without making any sound cues, without making any intel cues either. That's pr that's pretty freaking that's pretty powerful. I mean, it's a it's a very limited usage kind of ability, but when it works, it works, right? Because J90 is is trying to do his due diligence here. He's kind of going up and down the staircase, kind of like, okay, I need to be like, con he's trying to be conscientious of this, right? He's trying to be conscientious of this play, right? Because he doesn't know where the fourth man is. He doesn't he doesn't know where vertical is. He knows it's a high. He knows the, the man count is favored against him. So he's kind of trying to maneuver himself in a position that's safe and allows him to react to this potential gunfight as well as be able to have influence on the push coming down uh, from, from the fireplace wall. But a good nuck play can pretty much shut that down, right? On J9 -O's position. It's going to be vertical lurking in here trying to deal with that issue. Activates the thing. Potential fallback. This is scanning, right? Like this is this is like somebody's on this. Somebody's looking for players here from Astralis at the same time who's on cam yeah iconics on cam here no freaking clue i mean literally no freaking clue like what can you do there's no counter to this and then he makes a sound cue here after he deactivates the thing but i think because of the because of the diffuser going down this is a timing thing right so the diffuser going down there's probably there's probably gunfighting taking place some of the audio was kind of muffled during the nal stream today i don't really know why uh something like this happened yesterday too but He's. He, this is kind of a timing thing here where it's like, okay, I can afford to sprint, right? Because they're probably going to be preoccupied with what's going on over here. They, they, I might even get my sprinting leg drowned out by whatever's going on. And then, boom. L literally just shuts the round down with, with this play alone. Like this basically just just seals it up. Like this, there's, there's, not, there's not shit that Astralis can do here, right? Because... Vertical is, is he ha, he has map control here to cut off the cross. Wrong color. He has control here to to cut off any kind of movement by the defense, either to secure the defuse or to take gunfights with the people back in fireplace. Right, Forrest has to take this gunfight and win it. Or if he grows out in this hallway, he can get shot in the back. Right, this, I mean, you, you guys get the idea. Pretty much locked the round up. He can win this gunfight, potentially, right? But he doesn't, he doesn't know where he is, right? Like, he just knows, oh, solar, solar, solar! Knock down solar! So that, that means Nut could be holding it on this, on this hole. Nut could be over here, right? Turns out that she's here. But it's a 50-50 angle, he has to look at, like, he has to, he has to keep his crosshair on at least one of these spots, right? But by then it's too late. Right, good round. Like, there's this, 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 this not shit Astralis can do here. Now, that's a really good shot by Shuttle, I gotta admit. But again, the man count situation, I mean, it doesn't matter how many flashy plays they get. Like, round's over. So, hu huge, huge freaking play by Nuck there. And, and like, I hope this gives you guys an idea of how uh, Attacker Repick has kind of shaped operator selection in a way. Right? It allows for different kind of sleeper picks to, to show up on attack. Nuck is the only example I've seen of this where you have an operator that was very unconventional and basically just wasn't worth the gamble at all in competitive that's managed to benefit from this. I can't think of any others besides her. But this but this is kind of this is kind of neat, right? I was I was not a big fan of attacker repick at least until I saw this, right? I think in practice it it's not it's not the end of the world. It's still not my favorite feature just from a from a gameplay perspective. But in terms of um, entertaining matches, and I think that does play a significant role in Ubisoft's decision making uh, with with uh, changes to the game. I think I think the fan experience of Pro League, not just what the Pro League players are playing and what the players are playing in like ranked quick match, whatever. I think that watching the game is also important to Ubisoft, and this is kind of an example of that. So if we get more Nuck play on Bank, which doesn't seem to happen because she gets banned a lot, but if I get more Nuck play on Bank, I'll happily do a video kind of breaking down uh, why that's working as well, go a little bit more in depth. But rule of thumb here with Nuck, uh, if you were iffy about playing her, look, I mean, she has a great gun, high damage, high rate of fire, got a 1.5 times scope on it, frag grenades, and 
any map with staircases. I mean, look at all the freaking staircases on this map. You got th these these staircases provide huge vantage points. Like top fireplace, you can look down all for this section of the map. A little bit into the hallway down there. Blue blue leads. I mean, these these two staircases in particular, right? They they can lead into the main garage as well. That is a terrible looking arrow. Let me try that again. Th these can lead down. Like this one leads down in the garage or or the main floor or the top floor. Same thing with blue. Right? Goes that way. Right? Three different floors. Three, two, one. <laughs> I'm trying my best here with the arrows. I'm getting a little bit uh, I'm getting a little bit better with the with the pen thing. But to get the idea, right? So uh, solar solar is just two floors. But still, any maps that where staircase play is really is really really important and the cameras are going to be the most important piece of um, information gathering right for the defense to get an idea of what's going on with attacker movements knuck blows all that up just one operator because she can turn herself off from cameras vigil on attack vigil and cav on attack pretty useful sleeper pick play knuck more if you want to i think she's a pretty solid operator right now